Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has become the latest Washington lawmaker to head for the exits. He spoke Friday with our Robert Costa about his tumultuous time in office, his fractured Republican Party, and what comes next. When you go into the Senate, it's like being in a country club. Not a lot of people are. The House, it's like you walk into a truck stop to have breakfast, right? But that's the way the founders designed it. We're a microcosm of society. So everything good and bad in society is going to be here. It's rough. It's rough. It's truck tough. stop rough. But it's Eight of them kicked you out of the speakership. There are still those in the ranks who want to burn the house down. I never said it'd be fair. But, you know, I give as good as I get. California Republican Kevin McCarthy holds a place in history as the first ever Speaker of the House to be voted out of that position. Keeping government open and paying our troops was the right decision. Historic. Mr. Kevin McCarthy for Speaker of the House. The gentleman is but looking at how his tenure began, hardly a shock. A Speaker has not been elected. Not been elected. Not been elected. Back in January, it took McCarthy 15 ballots, more than any speaker dating back before the Civil War to win the gavel. And Since he was elected to Congress in 2006 and rose as a so-called young gun, McCarthy has made no secret of his ambition. Did you ever say to yourself during that speaker vote, maybe I don't want this job? No, I never said I didn't want this job. I love the challenge. I knew at the time I probably wouldn't be able to end the job. I mean, not, not on my terms. I, I knew who I was dealing with. I think history will say they were wrong in that decision. I did love the job. Now the 58-year-old McCarthy is quitting Congress a year before his term is out. He leaves Republicans with a slim majority that is struggling mightily to find consensus. Let me read you a quote from the famous speaker Sam Rayburn. Any jackass can kick a barn down, but it takes a carpenter to build it. Is he right, especially when it comes to this place, the House of Representatives? Yeah, and it takes a lot of builders. I mean, I've had the privilege of being here 17 years, and I've, I've got to be a part of building two majorities. I come from California. I grew up in a family that were Democrats. I applied for an internship in a congressional seat. I got turned down. And now I got elected to that seat I couldn't get an internship for, and I got to be the 55th Speaker of the House. Tell me, any other country is that possible in? But at the same time, how do you reconcile all of that good feeling with the eight who pushed you out? And they showed the country they don't really want to govern. They like chaos. That's true, but you're, you're going to have that any, in any industry, in any place that you live. I think this is pretty particular to this place. Yes, but remember this, for everybody in America, we don't get to hire who works with us and we don't get to fire who works with us. But it wasn't hard for rank and file Republicans to fire him. In October, when McCarthy struck a deal to keep the government funded, eight Republicans responded by pushing him out. The office of Speaker of the House is hereby declared vacant. His chief antagonist, a congressman from Florida. When you hear the name Matt Gates, what word comes to mind? <laughs> Look, um, I think history will show who Matt Gates really is. Will you support a primary challenge against him and the others who went against you in 2024? I'm, I'm, not fo I'm not focused on that. You're not ruling it out. Look, we have too many challenges. And you know what? That doesn't determine the future. Of course, Kevin McCarthy does have a focus these days on the prospects of another Florida resident. Will Donald Trump be the nominee? Yes. And the Republican Party? Yes. And if Biden stays as the nominee for the Democrats, I believe Donald Trump will win. I believe the Republicans will gain more seats in the House and the Republicans will win the Senate. Can he count on your support? Yes. That's an endorsement. I will support the president. I will support President Trump. Would you be willing to serve in a Trump cabinet? In the right position, look, if, I, if I'm the best person for the job, yes. Look, I've worked with President Trump on a lot of policies. I, we work together to win the majority. But we also have a relationship where we're very honest with one another. That relationship with Trump has become a central part of McCarthy's own political story. The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. His stark reversal after the January 6 insurrection going from blaming Trump to standing with him.
drew scorn from Democrats and some Republicans who saw him rehabilitating a dangerous figure. You went to visit Trump at Mar-a-Lago. You threw him a lifeline. He might have been finished if you didn't go. Would you do it again? No, that's your opinion, Dad. Um, look, I know a lot's been written about that. I think at the day, I'll write a story about all about it in the book. What are you holding back? I'm not holding anything back. You praise Trump's policies. You say he's a good guy. But many Americans, they look at his language, they listen to his speeches, and they hear an authoritarian, some say even a fascist on the horizon in this country. What do you say to those people who have those real concerns? Look, I, I don't see that, and this, this is what I tell President Trump too. What President Trump needs to do in this campaign, it needs to be about rebuilding, restoring, renewing America. It can't be about revenge. He's talking about retribution, day yeah, in, he, day out. He needs to stop that. He needs to stop that. You think he's going to listen to you saying, stop that, stop that? Well, he hasn't that? listened to anybody before. That's not true. He will ad adapt when he gets all the facts. He's not backing away from his calls for retribution. Yeah, but remember, you have a check and balance system, and I think at the end of the day... Where's the check America and balance on America him and the Republican Party? America doesn't want to see um, the idea of retribution. If it's rebuild, restore, and renew, and I, I think he'll see that. And look, uh, that's him, but I'm not gonna change who I am, and I'm not gonna stop giving him the advice, and look, I lost the job as speaker. Maybe I don't have the best advice, but I know one thing is I love this country. I want tomorrow to be better than today, and I'm gonna do everything in my power, and I'm gonna be engaged in the process to make it better.